Part 1. Breakfast of Champions The annoying sound of beep-beeps of the alarm clock woke Cole up. They went off in his mind like bombs exploding. He slapped the damn thing to make it stop, peeking an eye open to see the time. The clock read 3.30. Five more minutes, he groaned. When he looked at the clock again, the time read 6.06. What the shit? He pounced out of bed, but immediately regretted it. He groaned, grabbing his gut and covering his mouth to hold down some vomit. He glanced at the Hennessy bottle next to the alarm clock. He chugged the remains as he went to the bathroom, tossing the bottle in the trash. He hit the button on his stereo, turned on the shower, and hopped in. Only needing a minute to rinse off the night's musk, he threw on a pair of jeans, a plain shirt, and his old Chuck Taylors. He grabbed his phone and keys before sprinting out the door and to his car. He found his flask sitting on his passenger seat next to his campus badge. Breakfast of champions, he said as he sniffed the contents of the flask and took a swig. As he drove down the winding streets of Santa Cruz, he saw that he had pending messages. He called the number to his voicemail. You have three new messages, the robotic feminine voice said. First new message. Joan's voice came out of the phone. Thanks for not being here to run the diagnostics test, she said. Next new message, the voicemail continued. Cole, get your drunk ass up and get to the facility immediately, the message said. It was Slater, head of Horace Aeronautics and Research Facility, Cole's boss. Next new message, the voicemail went on. Get your ass here now. It was Slater again. Cole hung up.